Hello, basketball fans. Here we are with Dusan Olimpievic for the new episode of Basket News Talks. Dusan Olimpievic, maybe you know him, probably you heard about him lately because for the extra boost of sport is creating a big, big, big surprise, uh, if we can put it like that, in Euro Cup. Thanks for thanks for joining us. Hello to you and uh, to your fans. Thank you for calling me. I'm good. I'm excellent. Actually, it's more emotional when you have some success like this in Turkey because people here are very emotional and uh, they know to celebrate. Uh, they know to to enjoy in, in, in things like this. I said surprise in the first introduction. Uh, those who are following your team, like maybe last two months, three months would not be surprised at all. I would like to ask you about the victory that you have in, in Ljubljana, the Vita Olympia game. You seemed very comfortable when you were waiting for, for that call on Jacob Poland's shot because we were like anxious and did it go in? Was it time? I mean, it's always you have some doubt. In, even in this case, if you have 1% of uh, suspicious, of course, you will be you will be a little bit nervous but i have to say that i have a good really good angle of of of, of that shot and in the same time i saw red light on the glass and uh, uh, and i saw you know the ball is in his hands so i was pretty sure that it was out of time you know it's always can be something different uh, maybe that they, they can see something better than me in that moment I was calm. I was waiting for the for the final decision, and also because of the respect with the uh, other coach, opponent coach, we, who is good friend. That's why I didn't want to show immediately some emotions until we handshake and until we go to the you know our part of the court. Let's go to another late game scenario, which was maybe the one of the most famous game of the season, the, the Partizan game. Everybody remembered last shot from Holland that he made for for equal, but for me. How was important uh, this three-point shot? Uh, the same thing was important for me that that last defense from John Holland side. Again, to remember for Euro Cup history, I guess in in Partizan. But your own story—it's a very feel-good story because you rose from the ranks of Belgrade, worked in Sarvena Zvezda, winning in Belgrade against one of the most iconic coaches of of Europe. Did you feel like okay, I'm I'm closing one circle in my coaching life? Maybe it still is too early to to explain to myself first. Uh, first of all, what we did, you know, still my mind and my brain cannot accept what we did so far because you know competition is still running. Maybe it will be some good time, and you know I have to sit somewhere and to settle down all these emotions and things, and then to first of all to explain to myself, and then much more easier for others to explain me. Belgrade and the partisan with Željko Bradović is really something special this year. They they were one of the biggest candidates for winning of this competition and for EuroLeague. And it was like a really big project, you know, for country, for, for partisan, of course, history and defense. On top of that, you have the best coach in history of EuroLeague, of European basketball, you know. That was a huge thing, you know. That was a huge thing, and uh, you know, when I watched the game after our game, it was like uh, some flash, you know, what we did, how we played, how we behaved, how we were mature, how we were calm, how we were serious in moments, how we react on 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 the fans. It was twenty thousand people, you know. It's very difficult to explain to anyone what that means, you know. Twenty thousand, you know. We, in Ljubljana was. Uh, I think 14,000, you know, it was a full of gym. I'm making jokes, like, we are like some Circus Colorado, you know. Today we are coming in your city, we're full in your gyms, and then tomorrow we are going, you know. So we come, we we have a full of gym, play the game, done, let's go to the next place. Many people maybe missed that, but in the in the first parts of the season, you had a lot of late game scenarios. Uh, Bursa Sport was actually failing. I remember that Virtus Bologna game, Um, I remember the Fenerbahce game in the domestic league. You have a Turk Telecom away game. You have Besiktas both games. You have FS FS both games. We have in FS both games. We have shot for overtime. But you finally managed to handle these situations. How do you reckon this coming of age? This is my philosophy. For example, when you lose on one ball against Fenerbahce or against FS Bologna then it's really important to understand that we didn't lose anything. We got a lot because you push big teams on the limit and you push them to be a little bit nervous, to wait, uh, can we make this last score or not? So it's a big thing. And I, I try to explain to my players, 
even on, in those games that we did a greater job that no need to be sad about this of course everybody wanted to win this game but the hard work must pay off and in some point this time will come you know most important uh, period for us did you talk with for instance on rap after these late game situations the verdi he sometimes struggled let's say to find the right decision or maybe because he's a big potential every young player is really important for for turkey and for basketball uh, in turkey wherever i go i'm trying to to make something with uh, with the young players and this is how to say i want to leave some stem from the coach in some clubs i did the same thing when i was in red star in serbia the same thing in russia and you know now in turkey i'm trying really to release all good things in young players so uh, the, the situation with onur alp is one of the also most beautiful stories for turkish players i think in this year he was in karshaka last year with without some specific role he worked really hard still working unbelievably good Uh, the main thing if they want to improve themselves is to allow coach to change them this you know open mind thing it's really important for the young players so that was the shots mistakes and you know kind of things are uh, normal thing in this procedure of of making player of someone Uh, all of us are making mistakes, you know, referees, coaches, players, everybody. So uh, basketball is a game of mistakes. Everybody needs to make mistakes and they are, they are part of growing up. Mentally, it's not easy what you're doing because you finished the Euro Cup with not a very favorable position because you have to play game after game away. What do you personally think about the, the format and the mental uh, toil brings to you? I mean, I will tell you one thing. Uh, When you have even chance, this format is actually giving you a chance to make something. Even if you are with a smaller budget, competition now giving you a chance to to have a right to to hope for for something something big. But the thing is also uh, when you have fans like we have right now, uh, they are making really unbelievable atmosphere in our gym. And then you know, for us, we used to it almost. You know, so we have very good atmosphere. Everybody coming to support us, to show respect for everything what we are doing right now. And then somehow this is also. Part of the practice for us, because on every hour game we have full of gym. It's packed. You know, the fans are very emotional, and then we can feel it also at our home. So it's not something surprising for us when we go somewhere else. Uh, the after parties, and it's like when you go to dentist, you take the anesthesia, you know, and then just find what they will do with you. You know, maybe even you can take out some health too. So it's, it's not the problem. You know? So now we are under the anesthesia about about uh, about you know the fans. So for us, it was easier to play there than to our home, especially for foreigners. They don't understand what they are talking. So, <laughs> so you know, it's a, just a song. They, are, they were also in the green. So <laughs> we tried to make like we play at home. You said that your system is hard, which is which is very true, and not easy to adapt. Let's say by every player, you go like very complicated, very sophisticated, off-screen based uh, kind of an offensive model. You know, we see double wear, pin downs and stuff like that. Uh, thank you. Thank you for this question. Look, our playbook is almost 50 sets. You know, We have 50 calls for different things. Every coach can make uh, 50 or 100 sets. But the thing is that I'm really paying attention a lot for spacing and timing. And uh, we are working, uh, we are working uh, really hard with those uh, sets. We are pushing them uh, to adapt on uh, different uh, Defenses again and again, we will repeat and we will repeat again and then it will be something normal uh, to react in a first or second on a, and to adapt on some other other defenses. And I always ball this to my to my player. Time of reaction. On, on paper, po- point per position, you're, you're at the top. Euro Cup pronouns us one of the best offensive uh, teams in the uh, history of modern Euro Cup. Like, you know, you, they, they calculated, uh, for example, how many... Um, open shots we have from the sets. Uh, uh, why we cannot go with a simple set? It will be individual thing. You will give him one screen, he will go off, you know, and uh, he will take the ball and then one-on-one will start it. I think when you have good individuals like we have, when you give them something complicated with a lot of motions, then with this talent, they can be like a bomb, you know. In some moment, everybody can have a ball and everybody can be this situation to shoot. So, basketball fans, we are... With Dusan Olimpievich, the Fruit Extra Bursa Sport Coach, who is doing uh, great things right now. So thank you, Coach. Goodbye. Thank you so much for everything. Bye-bye.